Welcome back to Ford Mods. Today I'm going to show you how to install the creation kit for Skyrim Special Edition. You will need two things for this. You will need a Bethesda Net account and the Bethesda Net launcher. If you haven't already got them, go to the Bethesda.net website and to create an account, just click on sign in and you'll get the usual prompts to create an account. Do so. If you don't have the launcher, just click where it says launcher in the top right corner of the page, then download the Bethesda launcher, save it to a safe place, run it and install the launcher. When you start the launcher, if you haven't logged into it before and told it to save your details, you will see this, you will see, well actually that. So just uh, log in using the name and password that you created on the Bethesda Net website. Good. So once you're into the launcher, you're going to see, I think you sort of see Fallout Shelter normally the first time after install. So have a look on the left hand side and you'll find this one, which is the, as you can see, creation kit and it does say creation kit Skyrim. Click on install and you get the usual license agreement. Make sure you read it, of course, especially with this being modding. And tick it when you've read that thing, click on accept. Now this is what you will see next. There is a location to install um, and a change location thing, but if you click on it, nothing happens. The location to which you install is very important. Get that wrong, it won't work. To check that it's correct, go to your Steam client, look at the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on the left, right click it, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and it will open the game um, folder for Skyrim Special Edition. If you look at the top of um, the I don't know what you call it, my computer um, or Windows Explorer, you're going to see the path to the installation. Whatever it is, switch back to the launcher and I can see both nicely, it's lucky. So and just compare this with what, it, what you've got and make sure it's the same. You cannot click on change location or that thing if it's wrong. So if it is wrong, cancel. Um, go back to the Steam launcher and play Skyrim from here. Don't play it from any other place. Just click on play. Let the thing start. So click on install again to start the process for installation. Tick there, accept. And now the path should be showing correctly. So click on install and let it run. It's quite a small installation, so it won't take very long. And it's done. So if I now click on play, of course the creation kit will open. It will ask you first time, are you sure you want to allow Bethesda to make changes to your computer? And the answer to that will be, yes, you do. This is the thing you see next, script source extraction. Now these are files used for scripting all part of modding you will need them so click on yes it's going to take a while about 10 or 15 minutes for me so when you finish the install creation kit might open automatically if it does just close it as it's open anyway I'm just going to use take this opportunity to show you a bug within creation kit and how to, and we'll go on then to fix it if I, as I am here, if I try to open multiple master files, I get this error message every time. So get rid of that and close creation kit. The fix for that is to go into creationkit.ini file, which is in the Skyrim Special Edition install file. And of course, this is where the creationkit.exe is. So go into creationkit.ini and some like these two lines needed to be added to the first section of it and like that let's maximize that 
and then if you go further down you'll see in the archive section you need to add some more down here so comma space I will add uh, what's the first one dawn guard dot BSA comma space half fires watch the spelling it's got an s on the end and the last one dragonborn dot BSA save and close now I will put this down in the, the um, in the description so you're just going to be able to copy and paste this straight in without uh, referring back to the video so save it close it play again and this time you will be able to open all master files together like this and just to say you get these messages when the files are opening just click yes to all it's nothing to do with the program it's to do with bugs in the game many people prefer not to have to open bethesda.net launcher every time they want to start creation kit me included so if i just close that i will show you if you go to um, the installation folder right click on creation kit exe send to desktop create shortcut because you can rename this to anything you like um so i'll call mine i don't know uh, ck ck skyrim fc you call it call yours whatever you like and double click on that it will open the um, creation kit directly without being logged into the launcher so that's all for now good luck with the creation kit and see you in the next video goodbye